Hi and welcome to this video which is going to be on a torque multiplier and it's very heavy. So this is a Powerhand 3510 commercial vehicle torque multiplier and it's got a maximum braking torque of 5200 newton meters for stubborn wheel nuts and they're about 100 pounds plus fat. So basically what a torque multiplier is, is it's going to give you an a mechanical advantage. And in this case, it's a 1 to 56 advantage. But the drawbacks to that is you've got to turn the handle a lot of times, 56 times for the output to turn once. But what you do get is an amplification of your power. So you're turning, you're changing rotation into power. So this is what this is about. Now, these sort of fascinate me. Um, I have these sort of quirks where things fascinate me. So ugh, this is it, they're quite heavy. So, <laughs> they're very heavy. So the idea is, it needs to be for a lorry really, doesn't it? So the idea is, you put that on your wheel nut, that's the reaction bar, which goes on another nut, probably the nut next to it. And then as you turn this handle, it will appear nothing's happening at the other end, but it is actually turning very, very slightly. We'll try and, if I spin it, you can see it's turning. So lots of revolutions here, less revolutions here, but it would obviously undo your wheel nut. Now, it sounds a bit rattly because I have actually pre-degreased it because the grease that was inside was absolutely, looked really poor quality. So I've cleaned the inside out because I wanted to have a look at this on video. So what I'm gonna do is take this all apart so we can actually see what you get for a hundred pounds because most torque multipliers are extremely expensive. You're normally looking at perhaps 500 pounds. Um, so I wanted to see what one of these cheap sets actually looked like and how well they were constructed. So that's basically what this video is about. So I'll get to it now and I'll get the cameras in a bit closer and I'll start opening this up and we'll have a look inside. Okay, so let's take a look inside this torque multiplier. So one thing I will just demonstrate is the number of revolutions of the input to the output. So it is 56 input revolutions to one output revolution, as I just confirmed there. So we get some spring clip pliers here. Take that spring clip off. And so we've got a bearing here that holds the sun gear or carrier bearing. Pop that to one side. So that's our sun gear and that actually does look machined and everything looks quite fair enough on that for the price. And this is our bearing. So we've got a proper bearing by the look of it. And then what we do is we remove the first planet carrier which then has three cogs on there and each of those cogs has 10 teeth. And then it has another sun gear on the end of that that goes into the next planet carrier and so on till the final one, and this is the final one. So we'll have a look at this first set. Now this looks to me like it's rough cast. There's a photo. Um, it does not look very machined to me, that one, which is a bit disappointing. So I'm just looking inside the ring gear. So this is the housing, but also the ring gear. And there's 31 teeth in that. So the planet gears sort of crawled along inside the ring gear or the housing. So as we turn the sun gear, you can see it turns the planet gears, which there's three of them there. And each of those, like I say, has 10 teeth. So it's, it's like a crawler gear inside. 
as that coils around it sends the power to the next set of um, planet carrier gears. So each time it's getting the final one's obviously going to be rotating extremely slowly, um, but obviously increasing the mechanical advantage or leverage. So that's basically what's inside one of these. So it's obviously made quite cheaply because the quality doesn't seem to be overly great, but then perhaps it doesn't need to be. You're just using it to undo a stubborn wheel nut. So as long as it gets the job done, I guess, um, then it works. So anyway, we'll repack this now with some lithium grease. We'll just have a quick look in there. There is some markings at the end. You'll be able to see those in the detailed photographs that I've left at the end of this video. I always put lots of detailed photographs in. So I'm going to be quite generous with this grease um, on the basis of the rough casting. I think it could probably benefit from quite a bit of grease. So we'll get it right in there and down to the end and make sure these planet gears are nicely coated in the shaft. So we'll just pop that one in now, like so. Like I say, it didn't have much grease in when I actually bought this, and the grease did look somewhat of a sus suspect quality. It didn't look overly good. So hopefully by packing it with some branded lithium grease, it should make the tool at least work a little bit better and last a bit longer. So get that in there, pop that sun gear back in now and the bearing carrier. Obviously everything's covered in grease now, bit of a mess. We'll pop that back on the spring clip. Right, so, so it's LM2 grease I used by Car Lube, as you can see there. And there we go, so that's all back together. So that's what's involved in one of your HGV wheel nut um, removers for removing those stubborn wheel nuts or torque multiplier. Okay then, so now for some reference photographs which you can pause to view for longer. So here we are, so these were all taken with a macro lens so I could actually get in quite close. So like I say, that's sun gear there looks like it's machined. The other, I mean that is so rough cast that, that's, that's quite bad that. And this one looks welded, not sure why that looks welded. Um, but I suppose you do get what you pay for. Like I say, I think a decent torque multiplier would be perhaps from Norbar or something. And you'd probably be looking at in excess of £500. And the sky is the limit, depending on how powerful they are. Um, if you're just, Certainly if you're trying to hold down a wind turbine, for example, you're going to need a pretty strong one. Okay, so you've been watching how a HGV torque multiplier is constructed and how it works. So thank you for watching and supporting my channel, and please like and subscribe. This video was filmed and edited by me, Mark Savage, in August 2023, and I can be found on Instagram and Facebook, and X, or Twitter, as Coats and Gators.